So once you have applied for one of our programs, uh, you should start filling your application information. It's quite long and detailed procedure, so let's get started. You just click on this button, start filling in your information. And the first page which uh, appears is Terms of Agreement. There are some several statements and you should tick every statement that is true for you. For example, if you're over 18, if you have completed secondary school, uh, etc. These are about uh, if you have children, if you are married, uh, uh, if you are aware of you should be you should try to do your best to be a good au pair on your stay. Uh, you should be also aware of the fact that if you don't like the family that uh, the agency chooses you for you, um, it is possible to change the family, but this is uh, this can't be guaranteed. And you should be also flexible to the location, ages, etc. You should also know that it's important to have some uh, extra money or cash uh, in case of unexpected situation, which may happen. And uh, you should be aware of the fact that you uh, are committed to hand in uh, uh, some references, poli police checks and uh, medical certificates and other supporting documents which are uh, necessary for the procedure of matching and also for the backup of the agency. These fields here uh, on the bottom are uh, the dates of your state, stay. Uh, there is early start date, latest start date, earliest leaving date and latest leaving date. So please fill it carefully. And when you fill it uh, press the button and you got uh, you go to personal details it's very easy for you to fill this in you go with first name your surname then your address you don't need to use all these columns you're just fine with one column postcode uh, country please ignore these two latitude and longitude they don't apply anymore then uh, write again your phone number and Please, uh, we. This is very important for us. There's an item, Skype phone. So if you already have Skype uh, account, that would be very nice. If you don't, uh, Skype is a very handful program, uh, which you can download for free on a www skype.com and it is a program which enables you to communicate with other users of Skype and this is the mean of communication uh, that our agency uses a lot for example for con conducting interviews and uh, sharing other important uh, information so uh, for you it would be very great if you created uh, an account or maybe you have it then we ask you about this uh, dates that would be preferable for you and when it comes to the Skype video interview so when do you want to do it um, also there is a f place to fill your email address and we get to more basic que um, questions like what's your gender what's your birth date uh, what's your age, height and weight please don't take it too personally it's not about discrimination it's just about making a picture of what you are like uh, how you look like then there is a city of birth uh, your country uh, some passport details uh, religion details uh, this is also uh, not intended to be something uh, that you should be worried about just fill the truth uh, and so that we could find you a perfect match with the family uh, do you prefer or would you be 
uh, okay with uh, family that is not complete. It means some families uh, are just, you know, mothers or just fathers with children. So would you mind this option? Then there are some uh, uh, options for you to take uh, from your interests. It means if you're interested in swimming or if you if you go. Uh, if you go running, I don't know, cycling, riding, sky skiing, everything. Uh, so please, what are your fill fill in what your hobbies are, and then there's some free place, some free fields to describe your hobbies. Uh, the first field is for sport activities, the second for musical activities and uh, some other special hobbies that you might have. And then we go to uh, contacts. There are uh, there is need to uh, fill in two contact people. Uh, the first should be English-speaking emergency contact and the second one parent contact and you always fill in first name, surname, relationship to you and the telephone number. So let's save and go on. Now we come to a page that uh, I will ask you about your health details. This is very important if you consider that you are going to live abroad for a couple of months, maybe maybe a year, uh, so uh, to have a good uh, detailed information about your health uh, stage or situation uh, is important for our agency and also for your host family. There are some basic questions about allergies, if you have a special diet, if you need some special food to buy, um, if you have some chronic uh, illness like epilepsy, etc. If you have, if you take some medication for a long time, or if you have been uh, hospitalized in the past few years. Don't underestimate the question about uh, mental health and uh, one important question in the end is uh, the question about smoking. Some families prefer non-smokers uh, and some families don't care. Well, let's save and continue. And now we've come to your family details. So, who do you live with? Um, what's the number of your brothers and sisters, what are their ages, what's the job of your mom and dad, uh, what uh, activities do you do in your house, it means for example some kind of uh, household works like ironing, uh, hoovering, uh, cleaning windows, uh, etc. So what are your customs? Um, it is important for us to know if your family uh, supports your decision to be an au pair or uh, if you have lived, for example, in uh, abroad for some time before so that you have the experience uh, of living without your family. If you ever lived in um, other country and uh, why did you choose the country you are uh, applying for and if you have ever been to this country. And the last question is about uh, if you have some serious relationship but don't worry no answer yes or no is correct it's just about for the family uh, to get to know you and know your personality. So make sure you have completed it carefully and save it and continue. Now we come to education information, so please fill it. If you have a secondary uh, level of education, um, if you have a high school diploma or, or something similar, if you maybe have some addi additional qualifications, uh, maybe even a qualification in a childcare that would be very great. Mm, 
Do you have a certificate of first aid or cardiopulmonary resuscitation? Well, if someone who can, can handle situations uh, that are not expected um, when it comes to health, it's always uh, appreciated. Now there are questions about your uh, language knowledge, so please write uh, in the field what are the languages that you can speak and then specify a level of your English. For example, is your English sufficient to contact a telephone interview with CARA International and host family? That should, that should be yes. Uh, but there can be other situations that uh, depend on the language, so please fill it and let's go on. Now we have come to experience details. It means what experience with childcare or uh, something similar you have. So first of all, you have some ranges of ages of children that you have experience with. So, for example, you have experience with two to four uh, years old kid. Or maybe some specifications like twins or triplets or maybe physically disabled. And then uh, you have old children divided into two groups, toddlers and older children and infants under two years, it means babies. And you are to select um, if you did the particular thing about caring them, for example, did you prepare a meal for them, yes, or did you bathe them, no, so please fill it. And then there is a quite uh, large field for you to fill very precise information of your experience with every particular ch child. So please fill the name of the child, his age, uh, some family details, <coughs> how long how long have you been taking care of him uh, and things that are described here. And please do it for every kid, every child that you took care of. There are some additional questions there. For example, if you drive, some families prefer drivers. For some families it is not necessary. And the last part is about your former um, job placement. So uh, the first question is uh, if you're employed right now and the field uh, below is for describing your job experience um, do it the same way as you would be writing a CV it means uh, write the name of employer and how long uh, you work there, what was your responsibility, what was your position about. Once you've written it, press save and continue. And again, your data has been saved and there's a new screen with preferences. It means what kind of family and children you prefer to take care of. Again, there's a range of ages. There's a question if you will prefer to study a language of the country you're going to. And if you're willing to teach the little children your native language, it means, uh, for example, playing games or uh, speaking, them, uh, speaking to them in your native language. Just the easy words, you know, or uh, reading them stories, uh, etc. Uh, would it be a problem for you if uh, we located you with family which is in area where no uh, language school is available? 
you should know that the upper uh, pays for the lessons or lectures of um, language by her own uh, or on her own uh, but sometimes uh, the family supports her uh, sometimes there are also other ways to get the money for it and uh, are you interested to take uh, some cultural course uh, for example, in the evening, in your free time, during your stay, you can go to uh, sports trainings or some um, music lessons or dancing lessons. So would that be uh, good for you? Would you wish to do that when you're on stay? And now there is a very important part for your presentation to the family, because you are going to write them a letter. Uh, it is called Dear Family Letter. It's, it's a letter of your motivation to work uh, in this country that you selected and uh, why you uh, want to be an au pair, what you expected. But first of all, you need to introduce yourself, uh, describe a little bit uh, your personality, your background, uh, if, uh, if you have some former experience with being in a different country, in, um, in taking care of children, um, yeah. So, if you click on this useful link, it will roll down and there are many useful advices on how you should write the letter. So, you can write it down here. And once it's done, save and continue. Now you can see that your application has been nearly done, nearly ful fulfilled, but you can always go back and re-edit the sections that you have uh, filled before. Uh, it's on the middle of the page. You can see the particular uh, parts of the application here and if you want to change it you just click on this and before you submit the application it is also good to know that there are some supporting documents here uh, on the bottom that you should fill and send to Cara International as well it's character reference check uh, in which you uh, or not you or you should be described by someone someone else someone who knows you but be careful not a member of a family or not your friend uh, but somebody who knows you and who <coughs> can uh, recommend you and uh, say something positive about your personality uh, it should be at least, at least two different people. Then there's a child care reference. So it's a document uh, which you send to fill to someone who knows what your attitude to ch children is. But again, it can't be a member of family or your friend. It could be a parent of a family which you uh, were au pair before. Or maybe you took care or babysat some uh, children in your neighborhood or maybe you have some uh, child care qualification so maybe the teacher of the child care course uh, or if you were employed in creche for example so then the master headmaster of the creche etc and there's also special needs information uh, which is for uh, families that are mon more demanding, you know, there are some special conditions about them. So, uh, th uh, the easiest way how to do it is download these um, documents or just send the link because you can click it, open a new tab, for example. Yeah, and you can see that is a PDF uh, format which can be uh, filled in so you may just send these links or the documents in emails for example to people who you trust and uh, you ask for help with filling the reference and then they should or 
they should uh, send it back to you or you should ask them to send it to us by an email. So these are supporting documents. If you forgot about them, don't worry because we will ask uh, you for them. And when you have completed the application and you are pretty sure that there is nothing to change, uh, you can complete submission and start your search by ticking this. But remember, always before that, you have to tick that you read and agreed to the terms and conditions, which you can also read here by clicking on this link. And if you tick it and complete the submission, then the application is sent to us. You can see it here completed. You can even download it in PDF. Uh, and now you should wait for uh, our operator to contact you and ask you uh, uh, about uh, the interview that must be conducted. And uh, I just hope that everything will go good, that you correct it all right and everything will work out and you will have an amazing experience from your opera stay.